In the beginning of my journey, I was convinced that if I meditated all day every day, eventually I would come to this self-realization of what I truly was. But as time went on and months went by, not only did I not come to this realization my mind was seeking for, but I also felt pretty much the same as I did months ago. The body was still constantly uncomfortable, and the mind was constantly still active, with fear and anxiety still appearing to be present. It wasn't until I began doing emotional work that everything began to shift for me. That's when I realized, wow, there is nothing the mind can learn or conceptualize that will awaken me. It's an energetic shift, and every realization will be experienced, not thought about. As uncomfortable as my body was day by day, I found the courage in me to just trust whatever was on the other side. It's funny because you'll realize that self-realization isn't something you have to wait for. It's here in this very moment. We are all experiencing it right now. It's just that you're not aware of it. You most likely have a lot of emotions suppressed, and there are things you consciously or unconsciously avoid feeling. And I know how it feels. You have to just go through it. If a story of fear rises, and then an uncomfortable emotion follows after, find it within yourself to just accept this moment and feel into that emotion. If the story wants to play out while the emotions are there, that's okay. You don't need to try to change those thoughts. Just stay with the emotions. It may take five minutes. It may take 10 or 20. Don't worry about how long it will take and when it will go away. If you just stay with it, it will release, and when it does, you will experience this amazing release and maybe even get a glimpse into that which you seek. You genuinely have to be okay with whatever story is playing out in your head. You have to find this self-dross within yourself, realizing that even if this happened, you will be okay, and I promise you that you will. In 99% of the time, that fear-based situation that is playing in your head is a lie and will never happen. You have to fully accept that 1% though and be okay knowing it's a possibility. Meditation is nice, and I do recommend it, but emotional work and mental inquiry are what will cause those shifts to happen for you. In my experience, most of my realizations came from me just completely surrendering and allowing whatever to be in this moment. Remember how I always stress for you to live in the now. Nothing's actually ever wrong. Everything is perfect all the time. It's just when the mind throws filters, labels, and ideas on things that it appears like this moment isn't enough. That's when you grab your phone to distract yourself because you're uncomfortable. If you are serious about awakening, you'll eventually just have to give up everything. You have to be willing to lose everything and know that you will still be okay. There are a lot of fears and assumptions that arise during this journey, such as, what if I awaken and my life is terrible? Or what if people think I'm weird? Or what if I'm alone? What if, what if, what if? Sometimes the mind goes to the extreme and says, what if I die? You have to be okay with it all and realize that fear is the greatest adversary on this walk. But I'm here to tell you that all that is a lie. It's just ego playing defense. It's easy to see. Focus on your thought after contemplating a fear. 
Most enlightened, or whatever you would like to label these beings are not easily recognizable in public. I don't walk around telling everyone we are one. I function normally, whatever that means. You can still live out your desires. I believe there are many awakened celebrities and billionaires who have figured this out, especially our friend Jim Carrey. Please listen carefully to what I say next. Life itself doesn't change when you awaken or are on your way to awakening. You have to still be the human in the experience. Sorry, but it's true. But the new ways you experience it will get better by 100% and it's worth it. If you are already on this journey, you're stuck. There's no way you can go back knowing what you know. So just go all the way. Trust it. It's okay. It's always been okay. Feel what you are afraid to feel. You'll genuinely be surprised at how powerful you really are when you just accept things as they are. The first time I realized the power of acceptance was actually a moment when I was smoking weed. I was living with my parents at the time and was in my room smoking and I was paranoid because I didn't want them to know. It's bad enough their son moved back in, ha ha. I probably suffered from these thoughts that were rising for about 10 minutes straight. But then I just said, if they find out, so what? And I froze for like five minutes. I experienced something very blissful, which was the realization of first that story is alive because it's not actually happening. And then this confidence and trust rose in me. I just felt as if I could handle anything. And that's because I can. And so can you. Now, I'm not trying to promote smoking weed, especially in your mom's house, but it does tend to intensify thoughts and the emotions. So if you want to use it to go through those fears and emotions, go for it if you're of legal age, of course. But please remember you don't need drugs to awaken. As I continue to explore and navigate my spiritual journey, I realize that the path to self-realization it's not about attaining a permanent state of bliss or becoming immune to life's challenges. Instead, it's about embracing the entirety of this experience, including the full spectrum of emotions that we often try to avoid or suppress. We tend to associate negative emotions with weakness or failure, but in reality, they are a crucial part of our growth and evolution. By welcoming them, instead of resisting them, we find true strength and resilience. Never forget the process of emotional work is not always easy or comfortable. It requires courage and vulnerability to confront our deepest fears and pains. It is worth it. I found that the most important aspect of this journey, self-compassion, and knowing judgment of self and others. When we dig into our emotional landscape, you have to treat yourself with kindness and understanding. We are often our own harshest critics, but true self-realization comes from a place of acceptance and love, not criticism and self-loathing. You have to put faith into knowing you are worthy and enough, just as you are and that your emotions do not define you, but rather enrich your human experience. Most of you are probably constantly feeling uncomfortable all day, every day, unfortunately. So those emotions you have to go through are there for you. Just set some time to be with yourself. No phone, no TV, just be with the body and mind, and be willing to go through the most terrifying emotional experience if needed.
If you're having thoughts about what if I lose all my friends and family, just accept that it's a possibility. No need to believe it. What if nobody likes me? So what? What if I make people uncomfortable? So what? What if I get rejected? So what? Feel through those feelings and trust yourself. Trust life because it will always take care of itself. You deserve this, my friends. So embrace the saying, so what? Learn to accept yourself and move on from what others say or think. This is your path, your experience, and your awakening. I love you all and thank you for watching.